Hello, and welcome to another marvelous video. Today, we'll be taking a look at one of Spider-Man's most prominent villains ever, the Lizard. Spider-Man's rogues gallery is one of the most iconic of all comics, with a range of colorful and memorable villains that have tested the web slinger's skills and endurance over the years. However, few of these villains are as tragic and complex as the Lizard, a foe whose origins are deeply entwined with Spider-Man's history. So, in today's episode, we will be exploring the origins and evolution of the Lizard, examining how he has physically and emotionally challenged Spider-Man and became one of the most enduring and fascinating villains in the whole of the Marvel Universe. So, without wasting any more time, let's begin. Actually, before we get into our explanation, we do have one very small request. If you like our content, then please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is just one small click for you, but for us, it means a lot. Thanks. Now, let's begin. Early Life of Kurt The Lizard is the alter ego of Dr. Curtis Connors, a brilliant scientist whose experiments with reptilian DNA led to the monstrous transformation that turns him into the savage creature with incredible strength and regenerative powers. But let's talk about his life before this transformation. Kurt Connors was born and raised in Florida. He was a talented student who displayed an interest for biology from an early age, eventually leading him to pursue a career in science. During his college year at the Empire State University, he encountered Martha who would later become his wife, and they had a son named Billy together. After earning multiple degrees in biology, he became a respected researcher at Oscorp Industries. After becoming a skilled surgeon, he joined the U.S. Army and provided urgent surgical care to injured soldiers on the battlefield. Despite his successes, Connor struggled with personal challenges. He lost his right arm during military service due to a bomb blast, which left him with feelings of inadequacy and depression. Upon re-entry into civilian life, Dr. Connors dedicated himself to developing a serum that would regrow lost limbs. Utilizing the regenerative abilities of reptilian DNA, he formulated a serum that he was confident would be effective. These events were also depicted in 1996's Spectacular Spider-Man issue number 238, where a few things were changed. In this narrative, the conflict that resulted in Connor's arm injury is portrayed as taking place in Southwest Asia instead of a tropical area, as said initially. It is important to note that the specific location of how his injury was sustained is likely to be updated to reflect current events, as per the sliding timescale of Earth-616. Another significant change was in issue number 6 of Web of Spider-Man Volume 2, and it was portrayed that Connors woke up from a coma only to discover that his arm had been amputated, which he was previously unaware of. However, it is important to note that these events are being recounted by two separate individuals whose recollection of events may be unreliable or subject to embellishment. Therefore, the accuracy of the depiction may be in question. The Transformation, How He Became the Lizard Anyway, we'll now come back to the serum that we were first talking about. As seen in The Amazing Spider-Man issue number 6, as an initial experiment, Dr. Connors administrated a dose of serum to himself and was overjoyed to observe that his arm began to regenerate. However, due to the interaction between the reptilian DNA and the serum and his own DNA, he suddenly transformed into a ferocious reptilian monster. In the end, however, Spider-Man was able to cure him after developing an antidote from Dr. Connors' notes itself. A subsequent effort to create a safer version of the lizard serum also led Connors to transforming into the lizard once again. However, during this particular incident, he was rescued by Dr. Charles Xavier, his former colleague and one of the original members of the X-Men. Following his initial encounter with Spider-Man, Kurt Connors and his family moved to New York City, where he eagerly collaborated with Spider-Man on several occasions. He developed a formula that saved Peter Parker's beloved aunt, May Parker, after she developed complications from a blood transfusion that Peter had given her. As a result, Connors became became a close friend of Peter Parker, and even worked as his teaching assistant for a while. Unfortunately, the cure that apparently eliminated Connor's transformation into the lizard was short-lived. A recurring pattern emerged, where high stress levels triggered the transformation, leading to a confrontation between Spider-Man and the lizard, followed by a temporary solution to reverse the change until the next occurrence. Gradually, a second personality emerged within the lizard, retaining intelligence that was distinct from Connor's. A new persona envisioned the world where all humans would transform into super reptiles like himself, with the Lizard himself being the supreme leader and creator. Despite harboring a general disdain for humans, the Lizard displayed reluctance to harm his wife Martha and their young son Billy as well. However, as Connors lost more of himself over time, his willingness to harm them increased, with initial attempts to turn them into lizards eventually giving way to his actual attempts on their lives. 
some marvelous story arcs of Lizard from the comics, working with Spider-Man. During Spider-Man's initial confrontation with the villain known as Rhino, Spider-Man brought a sample of Rhino's hide to Dr. Connors for analysis. Working together, they formulated a new kind of webbing that could burn through Rhino's tough hide, enabling Spider-Man to apprehend the powerhouse villain successfully. However, the chemicals involved in analyzing Rhino's hide caused a reaction in Connors and triggered his transformation into the Lizard once again. After transforming into the Lizard, he went to his, or rather Dr. Connors, lab to search for a formula to transform reptiles into his personal army. Due to his reptilian brain, he could not understand Dr. Connors' notes and ended up wrecking the laboratory. The lizard then searched for Dr. Connors himself, not realizing that they were one and the same. Spidey later found him on a train to Philadelphia with an extensive reptile collection on board. The lizard commanded a train filled with reptiles to attack, but Spidey managed to force him into a freezer car, where the cold weakened him. The web slinger then wrapped him in a web cocoon to prevent his death and worked in Dr. Connor's lab to create an antidote before the lizard thought, ultimately rescuing him. Later, as seen in The Amazing Spider-Man issues 72 to 74, Connors was taken hostage by Silvermane, the leader of the Magia crime family, who needed his chemical knowledge to create a youth formula from an ancient clay tablet. But the stress of the situation triggered yet another transformation, and Connors turned into the lizard once again. This made things tough for Spider-Man, but it wasn't exactly that big of a deal for the wall crawler. As seen in Amazing Spider-Man issue 101, during another interaction with the lizard, Peter's experimentation with removing his powers had the unintended consequence of himself growing four additional arms. During this challenging time, Connors told him to meet him at his Southampton house, where he had a spare laboratory. When he arrived, Spidey was unconscious on the steps, and Michael Morbius was going to devour him. As they began to fight, Dr. Connors evaded Morbius' attack, but was terrified and transformed into the lizard. While they were fighting, the lizard was pushed into an electrical panel, and Morbius managed to bite him, but Spider-Man intervened and prevented him from escaping. To Spider-Man's surprise, the bite partially caused the lizard to revert back to Doc Connors. However, the effect was only temporary, as Connors struggled to prevent the lizard from taking over once again. They agreed to work together to find a cure, and discovered that something in Morbius's blood might be able to help them with that. After that, Dr. Connors managed to create a cure for himself and Spider-Man by using the Morbius enzyme that he synthesized. Rise of a New Lizard While struggling to control the lizard persona, Dr. Connors gained some limited control over it despite feeling hopeless. Unfortunately, his progress was undone by Calypso, a wicked sorceress who transformed him into a savage and mindless reptile. As a result, Spider-Man fought numerous fierce battles against both of them. Afterwards, Dr. Connors managed to cure himself and voluntarily went into the vault, a supervillain prison. While over there, Calypso tried to control the lizard once again, leading to the villain murdering her and escaping from the the vault. After that, the lizard faced off against Spider-Man and a bounty hunter named Warrant, which ended with the lizard falling into a quicksand pit and was thereafter presumed dead. Following his apparent death, a new savage version of the lizard soon appeared. In reality, Dr. Connors had managed to survive the quicksand. When the mindless, savage lizard encountered him, he transformed into his lizard persona. As a result, he was able to save his family and defeat the clone, which was discovered to be created when a formula was tested on a piece of the original lizard's tail. However, the lizard's plan ultimately failed, and Dr. Connor's family faced tragedy when Martha and Billy were both diagnosed with cancer. Later, Spider-Man helped Dr. Connors uncover that the Monaco Corporation had exposed Martha and Billy to carcinogens, but it was too late for Martha, who had already succumbed to the disease. Billy managed to survive, but harbored a strong grudge against his father and went on to live with his aunt. The stress of these events caused Dr. Connors to experience mental instability. New Recruitment As seen in the comic series titled Avengers The Initiative, Melati Kusuma, a young student, suffered the loss of both of her legs in a car accident. She applied for an internship under the guidance of Dr. Connors and expressed her interest in the Connors formula. Dr. Connors accepted her as an intern but made her promise not to do anything reckless while working on the formula. Melati was determined to regain her legs and impressed Connors with her hard work and dedication, eventually earning his trust. When she gained access to the formula, she stole it and modified it to give herself the regeneration generative properties that Dr. Connors desired. Despite unexpected mutations, she aimed to make the formula good enough to work for her. She later joined the initiative under the name Komodo. Imprisonment and Post-Breakout Following his work with Horizon Labs on a cure for the spider virus during the large outbreak in New York, Michael Morbius focused his efforts on finding a cure for himself and his friend Kurt Connors. After some time, he succeeded in developing a cure that Spider-Man used to restore the lizard to his human form while retaining his reptilian instincts. The lizard pretended to be completely cured and started developing a serum to transform back into the lizard physically. Kurt tested the serum on several Horizon employees before injecting himself with it. He managed to escape, before being discovered by Charlie Cooper, 
and Spider-Man eventually had to intervene to remove him from the Horizon facility. As the transformation was combined, the lizard became even stronger than before. However, using a cure created by Morbius, Spider-Man could defeat the lizard, although he couldn't restore him to his human form. The lizard was eventually captured and imprisoned in the raft. During his imprisonment, he realized that his human consciousness had taken over his reptilian body, recognizing it as the punishment that he deserved. In Superior Spider-Man issue number 13, during a prison breakout, the security systems of the raft were disabled by Spider-Slayer, and Kurt managed to escape from his cell. While Spider-Man went after Spider-Slayer, J. Jonah Jameson was confronted by Scorpion, but Kurt Connors intervened and stopped him. While serving time at the Andrew Correctional Facility for his actions as the Lizard, Kurt was approached by Ben Riley, who was posing as the new Jackal. Ben asked Kurt to join the new U Technologies, which was a front for his cloning and blackmail scheme. Initially, Kurt declined, but Ben changed his mind by showing him the clones of his wife and son. Later, Kurt was freed from prison by Electro and Rhino. During his time in the new team, Kurt worked on Ben's scientific projects and used his abilities as the Lizard to protect him when necessary. After Spidey and his allies managed to shut down Ben's operation, they discovered that a broadcast frequency had caused the carry-on virus to spread more rapidly. Kurt witnessed his wife and son starting to decay and decided to save them. He took a hold of them, escaping from Ben's facility, and brought them to the sewers, where he used the Lizard Serum to stop the decay. However, the serum had an unexpected side effect, transforming Martha and Billy into Lizard humanoids, almost like himself. In an attempt to reclaim his previous life, the Lizard contacted Empire State University and offered over a dozen of his patients as a bargaining chip to regain his position on the facility. After being granted this opportunity, Connors and ECU collaborated to create an inhibitor chip that was surgically implanted and encased in adamantium. This chip allowed him to transform back into his human form and control his transformations into the Lizard. Furthermore, the chip could also paralyze him if he became too aggressive while in his reptilian form. Final Adventures As seen in Amazing Spider-Man Volume 4, Issue 21 and 22, Kraven the Hunter, yes, one of Spider-Man's most iconic villains, who was about to make his silver screen debut soon, regarded the Lizard as a valuable target and desired to capture him as part of his trophy hunt for wealthy game hunters. The hunt aimed to punish animal-themed villains in New York City who dishonored the creatures that they imitated. Although Kraven hired Taskmaster and Black Ant to capture the Lizard, he evaded them. However, his son was caught on the hunting grounds and got abducted. As a result, the lizard embarked on a personal hunt to rescue his son. However, he was also apprehended and confined alongside Spider-Man when they witnessed Black Cat and Billy being hunted via a monitor. During this time, Connors confided in Spider-Man, disclosing that he had brought his son to Doctor Strange, who informed him that Billy was indeed his biological son, reincarnated in a clone's body. Fearing for his son's safety, Connors requested that Spider-Man remove the inhibitor chip, which posed a considerable risk. Unbeknownst to them, Craven had orchestrated this entire scenario. Despite the obstacles, Connors ultimately saved his son and eluded capture without harming anyone. After returning to his human form, Kurt became apprehensive about ever reverting back to the lizard due to his fear of losing control. He created self-replicating robots that would attack him if he attempted to transform and retreated deep into the sewers, barricading himself inside. Soon, Spider-Man attempted to locate Kurt but was confronted by the robots, forcing him to engage in battle. Despite Kurt's pleas to leave him alone, Spider-Man persisted and ultimately convinced him that he needed to continue fighting fighting to become a better person and to make amends for his past actions. Kurt agreed and destroyed his robots, then installed a new inhibitor chip before, before reuniting with his family and returning to his teaching position at the ESU. During the Secret Wars story arc, Kurt was attacked by Dr. Octopus and his incomplete Sinister Six while working in his laboratory in human form. Otto had planned to enlist the Lizard as the team's fifth member, but Kurt declined. Regardless, Otto had little help for Kurt and used the isotope genome accelerator to separate Kurt's human and lizard forms, leaving Kurt behind and assuming control of the now more vicious lizard. The Other Versions of the Lizard Lizard in the Ultimate Universe The Ultimate Marvel Universe version of the Lizard has only been featured in one comic storyline, which is Ultimate Marvel Team-Up issue number 10. Although the character did appear in a few later issues of Ultimate Spider-Man, it was only in the context of flashbacks and dream sequences. In the Ultimate Universe, Dr. Kurt Connors transformed into the Lizard after his long-term research project had failed to produce results and was abruptly terminated. One day, in a drunken state, he injected himself with his formula, resulting in his mutation into the 
the lizard. This version of the lizard is less intelligent than its 616 counterpart, but it does share some of the same abilities. After retreating to the sewers, he was given the moniker of the lizard by the media, and he became an urban legend. When Spider-Man approached him with compassion, the lizard attacked the young hero, but their encounter was interrupted by Man-Thing, who restored Connors to his human form. Despite this, Connors' right arm subsequently atrophied and became inactive. Furthermore, his DNA was left permanently damaged and contained the potential for future transformations. As a result, Connors withdrew from his wife and son because he was concerned for his family's safety. Dr. Connors inadvertently also created the ultimate version of Carnage, using DNA from Spider-Man based on his analysis of his old friend Richard Parker's research of the Venom symbiote. The resulting chaos led to his arrest, and Stark Industries terminated their funding of his experiments. However, his assistant, Ben Riley, still possessed one sample of Spider-Man's DNA, laying the groundwork for the Clone Saga. Dr. Connors' last appearance was in Ultimate Spider-Man issue number 127, where he received a pardon and was recruited by S.H.I.E.L.D. He and Tony Stark were present at the Triskelion when Norman Osborn destroyed it during an escape attempt. Lizard in 2051, the Marvel Adventures Universe. In the Marvel Adventures Universe, Dr. Kurt Connors worked at Empire State University and conducted secret research to cure himself of the lizard alter ego. When under extreme stress or pressure, the lizard would influence his decisions. The lizard was obsessed with eradicating mammalian life and returning to an age of reptiles. Spider-Man took advantage of the lizard's cold-blooded nature to force him into hibernation so he could administer an antidote. Later on, the Serpent Society kidnapped the lizard in an attempt to coerce Kurt into contaminating the water supply with his lizard formula, which would turn everyone in the city into lizards. However, Kerr prevented this by drinking the formula himself, transforming into a giant version of the lizard. Ultimately, Spider-Man cured him by administering a large amount of the antidote. The Lizard in Japan In the 1970s Spider-Man manga, Professor Inumaru was a Japanese scientist who transformed into the lizard. While on an expedition in the South Pacific with another researcher, Inumaru discovered a powerful herbal medicine used by the natives to slow the aging process. But the other scientist pushed Inumaru off a cliff, hoping to take credit for the discovery himself. However, the professor survived and transformed into a giant lizard. After returning to Japan, he killed his wife and attacked Kota Pharmaceuticals, the company trying to reproduce the medicine. He also kidnapped Araki, the son of the man who betrayed him, intending to kill the boy in front of his father. But Spider-Man arrived just in time to fight the lizard. During the battle, the lizard fell into an alligator enclosure and was presumably devoured. Lizard Noir In Spider-Man Noir, Eyes Without a Face, which was part of the Marvel Noir comic series, Dr. Connors made an appearance, but not his alter ego. When Peter Parker went to investigate Dr. Octavius's lab, where Dr. Connors conducted unorthodox experiments on living creatures, Dr. Connors greeted Peter and took him to Octavius, making it seem like he had only been an assistant for Dr. Octavius. Dr. Connors' right arm was also missing in this universe, just like in the regular universe before he attempted to regrow it. Lizard in the Old Man Logan verse. In the Old Man Logan storyline of Earth 807128, Lizard King was revealed to have taken over the territory of Florida. Meanwhile, in Dead Man Logan of Earth 21923, Joseph Manfredi and his gang worked for the Lizard. One of the gang members had been transformed by the Lizard formula, and after Logan injured one of his men, Manfredi takes them to the Lizard for treatment. Lizard Crawling in Other Media of the Marvel Universe Lizard in the very first Spider-Man cartoon series The character of the Lizard, voiced by Jilly Fenwick, made his first appearance in the very first Spider-Man animated series. The episode was called Where Crawls the Lizard, and in it, he was depicted as a scientist who transformed into the lizard creature while working on a cure for swamp fever. In his final appearance in the episode titled Connor's Reptiles, Connor was conducting an experiment to enhance the intelligence of reptiles. However, this led to a regular alligator transforming into a humanoid reptile named Reptilia. The creature kidnapped Connor, but Spider-Man intervened and rescued the scientist while restoring Reptilia to its original state. Fox Kids Lizard In the popular Spider-Man the Animated Series, which aired on Fox Kids Network, Lizard was voiced by Joseph Campanella. This character was introduced in the pilot episode itself, which was titled Night of the Lizard, where Connors was presented as a character who transformed himself into the Lizard after experimenting with Lizard DNA in an attempt to regrow his missing arm. As the Lizard, he kidnapped his wife Margaret and brought her to his hideout in the sewers, where he planned to turn the people of New York into lizards like himself. However, Spider-Man ultimately defeated 
defeated him, restoring Connors to his human form. Throughout the next five seasons, the Lizard made numerous appearances. However, let's talk about the critical ones. In the tenth episode of season four, called The Lizard King, a group of sewer lizards were exposed to Connors' chemicals and abducted him. As a result, he transformed into the Lizard and became their leader. Ultimately, Margaret and Mary Jane Watson, aided by Deborah Whitman, developed a remedy that Spider-Man used to restore the mutated lizards to their normal state. In the Secret Wars three-part episode in Season 5, the Beyonder transported the Lizard and other supervillains to an extraterrestrial planet to battle against a team of heroes led by Spider-Man. However, the Lizard switched sides and joined the heroes after Iron Man and Mr. Fantastic used a device to allow Connor's consciousness to regain control of the Lizard's body. After the war concluded, Connor's was brought back to Earth with no recollection of the event. <laughs> Lizard in the new Spider-Man animated series. In the 2003 animated series titled Spider-Man the New Animated Series, the Lizard, voiced by musician Rob Zombie, appeared in the episode Law of the Jungle. This version of Kurt Connors was colder and more resentful than previous versions, holding Oscorp responsible for the accident resulting in his right arm's loss. He injected himself with his serum and transformed into the Lizard, intending to seek vengeance on Norman Osborn's son Harry by killing him. In the climax, while fighting with Spider-Man, the Lizard plummeted from a significant height and was was mortally injured upon impact, resulting in his death. Lizard in Ultimate Spider-Man The character of the Lizard was featured in the initial season of a 2012 animated series as a recurring character, voiced by Tom Kenny. However, D. Bradley Baker took on the role for all the following seasons. The show portrayed Kurt Connors as a scientist for S.H.I.E.L.D. At the outset of the series, he possessed both of his arms, but during the season 1 finale, his right arm got amputated. In the episode The Lizard of Season 2, Connors underwent his first transformation after injecting himself with the animal serum created by Dr. Octavius. In the end, Spider-Man successfully treated Connors, but he was abducted and transformed into the Lizard in the episode The Sinister Six to serve as a member of the titular villainous squad. The Lizard also appeared in the episode Stand By Me, where he successfully suppressed his human personality. He was seen again in the two-part season finale where he was cured for a second time. Although he had only a minor part in season three, he became more significant in season four. In the episode titled Lizards, Dr. Octavius succeeded in turning him into the Lizard once again, but this time his bite infected others, transforming them into lizard-like creatures similar to himself. Spider-Man eventually cured him once more, this time for good. In the show's final episode, Doc Ock converted Crossbones into the new lizard to replace him as his team member. Having discussed the lizard's role in various comic books and animated series, it's time for us to shift our focus now to his appearances on the silver screen. Dr. Connors in the Sam Raimi Trilogy Dylan Baker portrays Kurt Connors in Spider-Man's 2 and 3, with the character not appearing in the first film, but he does receive a mention. In both these films, he is Peter Parker's physics professor at Columbia University in New York, and also shares a close friendship with Otto Octavius, as seen in the second film. In the third film, he examines the alien symbiote that Peter comes across and cautions him against coming into contact with it. Becoming the Main Antagonist In the 2012 film The Amazing Spider-Man, the Lizard appears as the main villain, portrayed by Welsh actor Rhys Ifans. The movie depicts the character as an Oscorp researcher and a previous colleague of Peter's father, Richard Parker. He develops a relationship with Peter, and with the help of Richard's notes, they collaborate to make progress on a regenerative formula that Connors has been researching. Despite being fired after rejecting the idea of human trials, Connor injects himself with the serum and transforms into the Lizard, wreaking havoc across all of New York City. After turning into the Lizard, Connors escapes to the sewers, where he becomes fixated on his newfound abilities and gradually descends into madness. He later reveals his identity to Spider-Man during a confrontation at the school. The Lizard then tries to release a chemical cloud that will turn the citizens of New York into lizard-like creatures, and ends up killing the police captain George Stacy in the process. However, Peter and George's daughter Gwen create an antidote and disperse it throughout the city, curing the infected citizens and Connors. Connors himself. Connors surrenders to the police and is taken into custody. In the end credit scene, he is shown in a mental institution, where he is visited by Gustav Fierce, who asks him if he has revealed the truth about Peter's father, but Connors denies doing so. Connors. 
Lizard in the MCU. In the MCU's Spider-Man No Way Home, Peter Parker requests Doctor Strange's help to erase the world's memory of his secret identity, but the spell goes wrong when Peter keeps changing the conditions. As a result, people who previously knew Peter's identity are brought into the MCU timeline. Among them is the Lizard, voiced again by Reese Siphons, who appears in the movie due to the spell's unintended consequences. In the movie, the Lizard is initially seen imprisoned in the Sanctum Sanctorum's basement under Doctor Strange's custody. Peter vows to cure the Lizard and the other villains to prevent their deaths when they return to their respective universes. However, Lizard is not interested in losing his powers and manages to escape before Peter can attempt a cure. Ultimately, it took three Spider-Mans to defeat and return him to his realm along with the other villains. You may be at the wrong place if you don't know what we're talking about here. It's rather pointless for us to try and investigate the frequency of Lizard's appearances in video games, as there are very few Spider-Man and Marvel games that don't feature this famous antagonist. How powerful is Lizard? It is understood that Dr. Kurt Connors granted himself extraordinary abilities by exposure to mutagenic chemicals, enabling him to metamorphose into the Lizard. However, in his human form, he lacks these superhuman abilities, although he is still an extremely intelligent individual and a renowned scientist specializing in the areas of physics, biochemistry, genetics, and herpetology. Connors' physical strength, speed, reflexes, and endurance are significantly enhanced when transforming into the Lizard, reaching superhuman levels. He can walls using his sharp claws and micro scales on his hands and feet, creating molecular friction similar to a house lizard. His thick scaly hide makes him highly resistant to injury, allowing him to withstand punctures and cuts from regular weapons and small firearms. Moreover, he possesses remarkable regenerative abilities, enabling him to recover from severe injuries and regenerate lost limbs quickly. The lizard's muscular tail can also be whipped at high speeds, and his razor-sharp teeth can deliver a lethal bite. However, like a reptile, he is cold-blooded and sensitive to cold environments, causing his metabolism to slow drastically and remain dormant if exposed to low temperatures for an extended period. Through his limited telepathy, the lizard can mentally communicate with and even control all reptiles within a one-mile radius of himself. Additionally, he has also been observed secreting potent pheromones that can cause nearby humans to behave aggressively. His powers and abilities make him a significant adversary in the Marvel Comics universe, and his presence is always a cause for concern for those like Spider-Man who should stand against him. Marvelous Verdict As we come to the conclusion of this video, we can confidently say that the Lizard is a captivating and intricate character of the Spider-Man universe, possessing unique powers and abilities. Dr. Kirk Connors' tragic struggle to manage his monstrous alter ego allows readers to relate to this character, despite fearing his reptilian form. The Lizard's formidable presence makes him a significant adversary for Spider-Man and other superheroes, and his continued appearance in comics, movies, and video games indicates his enduring popularity among fans. Overall, the giant reptile's role as a villain in the Spider-Man universe adds depth and intricacy to the world of comics, and he remains one of the most intriguing and engaging characters in the Marvel canon. What are your thoughts on the Lizard? Is he one of your favorite Spider-Man villains? Let us know in the comments section below. And if you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to leave us a like and subscribe to never miss out on any of our content. Until next time, have a good one and be safe.